No one ever said chasing dinosaurs is easy. For this team of paleontologists in Morocco, the outlook is bleak. The rocks prove too hard and the fossils too fragile to excavate. Faced with a setback, the team has no choice but to abandon Azilal and move on. Their destination, the other side of the Atlas Mountains. Word has spread that fossils have been discovered. Now it's a race against time before the site is plundered. The team heads for the village of Tondut on the edge of the Sahara. Geologists have already determined that the deposit could be even older than the one at Azilal, perhaps as old as the little carnivore that raced along the inclined slab almost 200 million years ago. The team is a welcome sight. After greetings are exchanged, Mr. El Hussein, the owner of the property where the fossils were found, offers the team a warm meal and fills them in on what happened before they arrived. <laughs> Fossil hunters had already begun to dig in the area. They found some strange bones that had taken them away. The local people tried to stop them, but they had guns and had stolen a lot of bones. But one of them talked too much, and the police chief arrived. Authorities had to guard the site until the paleontologist arrived. Rock hammers and chisels give way to brushes and picks. <laughs> Philippe Taquet is on to something important and alerts Dale Russell. Ooh. Come have a look. What do you think of this? They kill, uh, kill us. You can see the other side, but I think it's a tibia, but it's fairly complete all the same. I have something else to show you. Fatima found this. <laughs> Careful, don't drop it. It's a spatula-shaped tooth, characteristic of sauropods. That means it's very old but only a lab test can determine its age. Further up, the team uncovers a second fossil deposit that looks promising. A dense concentration of bones like this hints at a primeval disaster. A flood carried their carcasses downstream and dumped them all in the same place. Shoulder blades, ribs, toes, vertebrae. Some 200 fossils are catalogued, belonging to several different sauropods. It seems that sauropods were not always giants. These backbones are clues to size and shape. To help orient the dig, Michel Fontaine, advised by paleontologist Ronan Alain, draws the skeleton as it lay when the animal died. This shoulder blade, or scapula, is odd-looking. The team has never seen anything like it. For a paleontologist, the primitive scapula with parallel edges like this tells us the animal is ancient and that it's a sauropod, a primitive herbivorous dinosaur, more primitive than any that are classically known. And it is very probably from the lower Jurassic. It is before the known sauropods. If Philippe Taquet is right, it's a day to celebrate. They've finally found the ancestor of Atlasaurus. The question now is, 
How old is it? Take is convinced it comes from the early Jurassic, 180 million years ago. Montbaron thinks it may be older, closer to the end of the Triassic period, a staggering 205 million years ago. An interesting discussion, but I'm betting Jurassic. One thing is certain, the debate won't be resolved with words. To pin down the age of the dinosaur once and for all, Michel Montbaron heads back into the field in search of a site from the same geological level as the dig. But understanding Moroccan geology isn't easy. When the Atlas Mountains were formed, the layers of the Earth's crust crumpled, folding on top of each other, complicating the work of geologists. I am studying the structural geology now. I'm trying to make sure we are studying the same level and that we have not moved into a red bed from a different age or a different type. Red sediment is typical of the Jurassic, but not exclusive. This red bed lies at a 20 degree angle north. The North 309. Nearby is a wall of striped rock. Here, layers upon layers of sediment have been vertically upended. The light stripes are marine calcium deposits. The dark, limestone laid down on land over millions of level rose and fell. The thickness and texture of the sediment reminds Montbaron of a limestone bed he knows well. It was formed during a period just prior to the one at Tondout. This is the confirmation he needs to eliminate any doubt. The fossils really are from the early Jurassic. I have seen limestone layers like this one elsewhere in the Atlas Mountains, and they correspond to a period about 180 to 185 million years ago. So if these fossils are 20 million years older than Atlasaurus, they must be the missing ancestor. Montbaron is back with the news the team's been waiting for. It's confirmed. The remains they discovered belong to the oldest known sauropod ever found. Within days, all the bones on the surface of the upper level are removed. Now heavy equipment is brought in to speed up the excavation. Although it's risky, tons of dirt must be cleared to get at the remaining fossils.